Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to another video. I am here today with a different sort of video. I wanted to show off my collection of art prompt journals. And if you guys have been on this channel before, you know that I love, love, love art prompt journals. And if you're unfamiliar with an art prompt journal, it's basically a book that you get that already has art prompts in it. And what I love about that is I find it difficult to just create off the top of my head sometimes. So the art prompt journal gets you thinking. It gives you a prompt that you interpret however you want to interpret it and you make something out of it. It's a ton of fun. Some books have themes, others don't, but they all have different sorts of prompts. I'm just going to show you my collection and tell you a little bit about what I like about each one. I'm going to link like or post what the books are down below and link the ones that I can and I hope you guys check them out if you have any questions feel free to comment down below I'm happy to help and guide you through this journey all right let's get started with the first one the first one I'm going to show you is probably one of the most popular or well-known art prompt journals this is wreck this journal so if you're unfamiliar with wreck this journal it's by Carrie Smith and the whole point of Wreck This Journal is that you're, well, destroying the journal. So the prompts are incredibly destructive um, in that sense. Some of them are, involve you ripping out pages. Um, some of them involve you um, doing things to the pages, like one says make a destructive movement. It's all about destroying the journal. Now, some people, like myself, have decided to take some artistic liberties and flip the prompts around and make them artistic instead. However you interpret them is up to you. I know Carrie Smith's intent was of course to, well, wreck the journal, but if you turn it artistic, that's up to you. It's your book, you can do it how you wanna do it. Now, this really got me out of my comfort zone. Some of the prompts are really crazy, like one says, eat colorful candy and lick the page. I absolutely did not want to do that. I was so against it. But you know what? I did it, and I had a lot of fun, and the page looks awesome. It got me out of my comfort zone. Um, if you really like this book, I'm going to show you the next one in my collection. I have Wreck This Journal, now in color. This is the original edition. It has a black cover. There's also an original with a red and a duct tape cover. Um, there's several versions of Wreck This Journal. There's a Wreck This Journal everywhere. There's a Wreck This Journal now in color. This is the other one I have. The reason I picked this up, and no, it wasn't because it was 20% off, in case you're wondering, I really wanted to do a second Wreck This Journal, but I didn't necessarily want to do the same thing. So in Wreck This Journal in Color, the prompts center around color. For instance, one of the prompts in Wreck This Journal says um, to spill coffee on the page. In Wreck This Journal in Color, it says to spill a colorful drink. So it kind of turns the prompts into like more colorful prompts in that sense. Um, the prompts are the same in both books. Some are new prompts in this book. Um, and like I said, a lot of them add that color element. Some pages in this one actually are in color and it gives you something to work with or work around, like one page is solid green. So it really gets you thinking about how to incorporate the colors in the book. So I definitely recommend if you're looking to get into art journaling, checking out Wreck This Journal if you haven't already. If you want something different and, or more colorful or you've already done Wreck This Journal but you want something similar but different like I have but you also want another wreck this journal i would highly recommend checking out the now in color version um i definitely check out the original first um before i checked out the in color version but they're both good the next one i have is by an youtuber an art youtuber this is create this book by mariah elizabeth it's almost completely opposite of wreck this journal and i say that because the prompts are all about creating so these prompts are super creative. They get you thinking. They're like Wreck This Journal in that sense where they get you thinking outside your comfort zone. Like one that I've, I haven't done very many pages in here, but one I did said make like 10 second drawings. So out of my comfort zone, so out of something I would have ever come up with on the top of my head, but it was so much fun to do. So if you're looking for, to get into art prompt journaling, you don't want to destroy the book. You want something a little more 
creative, this is a great place to start. Mariah Elizabeth has a lot of great videos on her channel about this book. Um, it's so great. There's also a Create This Book too, which I don't have in my collection. But if you are looking to get started and you want a nice creative book, nothing destructive, nothing that makes you lick a page, unless of course you want to, this is a great one to check out. The next one I have is by another art YouTuber. This is Draw Your Journal by Bellamina. Now this is one I've just gotten into. Um, it's a great book. What sets this one apart is that the prompts are all about you. So it's like your favorite season, your childhood, your birthstone, your etc. And if you're like me, sometimes it's hard to think about things about you. Like when someone says, oh, can you tell me a little about yourself? I like panic and I'm like, oh gosh, what do I say? So this really gets you thinking and it gets you going on that journey about finding out things about you. And what's better than drawing and thinking about things than thinking, drawing things that you enjoy? This is a great book. This is a great one to add to your collection. This is a fairly recent book. Highly recommend it. Um, the prompts are so different than Wreck This Journal or Create This Book. It's a great one to add to your collection. So much fun. Bellamina has a lot of good videos on this book as well. I recommend checking out her channel if you haven't already. Um, the next one I have I've never actually done any pages in, and that is Anti-Journal. This is by David Sinden and Nicholas Catlow. This is a fun one from what I've seen. Uh, the prompts are much different. They're more, I think some of them are kind of creative and they're just different than what um, we've seen in Write This Journal or Create This Book or Draw Your Journal. What makes this one different is that it has two prompts on some pages. So one side might have one prompt, one side might have another. And it really gets you thinking how you can make those prompts connect or they don't have to. You could do one drawing on one page, one drawing on the other. They don't necessarily have to connect. But this one does have feature two page two prompts on some pages, which is really interesting to me. Um, another thing I found interesting about this journal is it's a hardcover book. So this one is really interesting. I'm really excited to get started with it. I've seen what some other people have done in this book, and it looks like a lot of fun. Um, the other thing about this book is that I did have difficulty finding it, but if you happen to find a copy, I recommend picking this up for your collection. The next one I'm going to show you is one I got online, I believe. This is Create Plus Destroy. This is by Piccadilly Inc. It kind of combines something like Wreck This Journal and Create This Book because, well, there are creative prompts and there are destructive prompts. The prompts in here are very different. Um, they're just really... Like, I did one that was like draw phobia. I did one that said draw a summer scene. They're all pretty different. Um, they get you thinking, again, some are creative, some are destructive. It's just a lot of fun. Um, this is a great one to add to your collection. I like the size of the book. It's wider than some of the other ones that I've done. It has the rounded corners. Some people like that about things like Wreck This Journal. And I thought the pages in here were thicker than they were in other books. This is a great book to pick up. Um, great one to get you started as well if you want something a little different. The next one I'm going to show you is Design and Destroy. This one I believe is by Lily Drew and it's also by Chartwell Books. I'm just going to flip through and make sure I had that right. If I could open it up. Yeah, Lily Drew. And it's also by Chartwell Group Books. And this book I picked up, you'll see the sticker up here because it was $8. So this one has a lot of unique prompts. I'm it's similar to Create Plus Destroy in the size and the paper thickness and stuff. I've not done any pages in here. The prompts look like a ton of fun. Um, one thing about D Create Plus Destroy and Design Destroy is a lot of the prompts have a little picture. So I drew like in the design Create and Destroy one, it was a summer scene. It said draw a summer scene. It had a picture of a beach chair. So they have these little black and white photos that are fun and you can incorporate into your drawings. 
Um, this one is a great place to get started if you're looking for something inexpensive. I got it in the book annex at Barnes & Noble for $8. Very inexpensive, very great place to get started. Um, it's also good to add to your collection if you're looking for something different. The prompts are different enough between these books and something like Wreck This Journal. You can definitely pick this one up. And like I said, I like the price of it. It's only $8. Paper's thick, good quality. Um, it's just a good book. And it's a great place to get started and a great one to have in your collection. The next one I have is Once Upon a Page. This is by Zletic. This one is a great book because it show it kind of you guides you through the journey. It's about, I guess you could say like spiritual um journey of making art so this one's once upon a page it's so much fun the prompts are so different than what I've ever seen like one says draw a bridge one says monochromatic art and those all seem kind of simple but there are things that I just haven't done before it does have some prompts similar to like wreck this journal um, they're similar, not necessarily the same. So this is another good one to add to your collection. I highly recommend it like I do any of these other books. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this one. The paper is a little on the thinner side. So if you get this one, I definitely recommend using a separate piece of paper and gluing it in or, you know, double layering your paper or something to give it a little more, um, you know, thickness. <laughs> But this one's really fun, and it's a great one to add to your collection. One thing that's interesting about this one is the first page has you measure the thickness, and then the last page has you measure, so you can see what kind of growth you had as you went through this. Ton of fun. The next one I have is Creativity in Progress by Laura Escoffrey. This is a relatively recent book, from my understanding. I didn't pick it up too long ago. And... Um, the thing that's different about this book is the prompts are all whimsical. And the thing about, I think in the foreword of the book, Laura Escoffrey mentions the, creati the creative mind of like a child. So you have prompts like write a letter to Santa Claus. Um, they're really fun. They're really whimsical. And I really enjoyed working in this book. Some of them are like, one says write a poem and you know, I wrote the poem and drew a picture with it. Ton of fun. Um, really gets you thinking. It really, they're not stressful prompts at all. Not that any of the other ones are stressful, but they're not necessarily artistic prompts. They're just a lot of fun and there's a lot of whimsicalness to them. So I highly recommend this book for your collection. It's so different. It's got some, um, you know, very different prompts in it, and it's a lot of fun to do. The thing that's different about this one, it's a little taller than some of the other ones, but still a great book, still a lot of fun. The last one I'm going to show you is one I kind of mentioned at the beginning, and that's This Is Not a Book by Carrie Smith. This is the other Carrie Smith book in my collection. Um, the reason I saved this one for last is this is a great, great book, but it's definitely not a beginner book. This art prompt book has a lot of prompts that aren't necessarily artistic. Some of them are like group activities or, you know, write things down. But making them artistic and creating something, that's the challenge to me. So this is definitely one I highly recommend if you're looking to challenge yourself. I do not recommend it if you're you know, looking to get started an art prompt book. You can interpret this however way you want. I've seen many people make this book super, super creative, and I'm excited to do that with my own. But like I said, this is definitely a challenging book. It's probably not a good beginner-friendly book, but if you're looking for a challenge, I definitely recommend this one. It's probably right for you. And there's some gray drawings on the pages you have to incorporate into your design. It's a lot of fun. So that's my art prompt journal collection. I definitely am looking to add so many more art prompt books. I have so many that I have my eyes on. Um, is there one you'd like to see more of on my channel? Is there one you'd like to see? Is there one you don't want to see? Do you have any questions about these art prompt books? Have you used any of them yourself? I'd love to hear from you. Of course, you can always comment down below. I'm happy to answer any questions or comments. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.